Hi there, my name is Tony and I'm here to give you the highlights of the latest Streamit release. Today, we're exploring some of the exciting features of Streamit version 1.30. The first feature is scroll container. Sometimes you want to show a long block of content in your app without taking up too much space. Now, when you set a high parameter in ST container, users can scroll through everything that doesn't fit. This new feature gives you more control over your app's layout. The second feature is link column formatting. Before, links in data frames had to be full row URLs that weren't easy to click. Now, links can be displayed as hyperlinks that open in one click. The third new feature is ST switch page. In the past, page switching outside of the sidebar had to be built with code that was a bit hacky. Now you can use ST switch page to navigate between pages automatically. This new feature enables native customization of multi-page app behavior, including hiding the site navigation and programmatic page switching. And last but not least, ST query params. Today, using ST experiment to get query params is challenging and requires you to track and manage state in the case of multiple params and also handle list conversion. With ST query params, we have made adding query params a lot easier. Now, Streamit tracks the state of all query params so you can interact with them independently in a dictionary-like API, very similar to session state. And in this example, you can see how easy it is to bind the value of ST checkbox to the query params. And with that, update to this latest version of Streamit and start building. Link in the description below for the change log. Don't forget to share all your new amazing apps to the community by posting on the Streamit forum or on social media. If you use the Streamit hashtag, we can showcase your work in the app gallery or reshare on our social media. Catch you on the next release. Happy streaming.